A tooltip is an easy way to display some information in your game. They were great in 2D, but how can we make it work in 3D and especially in VR? This is what we will see in today's video. Welcome to Valem Tutorials, a YouTube channel dedicated to VR development. Feel free to subscribe and like this video to not miss the next one. And as you know, the source code is available on my Patreon, where you can join 600 other people and support my work. Link in the description below. But without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so here we are in a very simple Unity project. I already set it up for VR. And as you can see, we have a mysterious cube on top of that table. And you guessed it, let's make a tooltip for this cube. First thing, I'm going to right click in the hierarchy create empty. Let's rename this empty game object tooltip. Next, let's place it on the surface of the cube. Quick tip, if you press Ctrl plus uppercase, you can move the empty game object at the collision point between your mouse and the collider of the cube. Or a second method, you can select the tooltip in the hierarchy. And if you click on the little gizmo, press on V, you should see the gizmo change. And now, if you keep pressing V, you can snap the game object to a vertex. Okay, so let's place it on the side of the cube like this. It should be perfect. Okay, next, for this tooltip, I want to have a line renderer that will link the object to the text. So let's create an empty child called line renderer. Make sure its position is at 0, 0, 0. Then on this line renderer game object, we can click on add component and add a line renderer component. And we can see this line over here. It is pink because there is no material now. So we can fix this by going to materials and search for default line and select it. Now, what we need is to make this line go from one point to another. For this, let's click on add component and create a script called two point line. Now, in this script, we are going to need three variables, a public transform point A, a public transform point B, and a private line renderer called line. We can get the line renderer at the start with line equals get component line renderer. Now, to set the position of the line renderer, we need to first set the number of points with line.positionCount equals 2. Then we can set this position with line.setPosition 0.a.position. For the first one and for the second one, line.setPosition 1.b.position. There you go. We can save and go back to Unity. Okay, so now we need to create the two points. So let's right click, create empty, call this game object point A, duplicate it and rename the new one point B. We can now drag the two points in the two point line script. So let's drag point A for the first one and point B for the second. But here is the problem. If we wanted to see what this line looks like now, we should click on the play button. But I think it could be a nice idea to also make this script run in the editor. So to do this, let's go back to our script. And what we can do is write at the top, execute in edit mode. Now, if we go back to Unity and that we move the point B, as you can see, it works. That's awesome. From here, we can basically tweak the look of the line. So if we go to the line renderer, we can, for example, change its width to 0 0.005. We can change the color to something else, like yellow, for example. And there you go. Just like this, our line renderer is looking great. So let's keep on working on the tooltip with the text to display. OK, so for the text to display, we first need a world canvas. We can right click under the point B, go to UI, canvas. Now, this will, of course, create a new canvas as a child of the point B. You will see why I'm doing this later. Now, let's set the canvas to world space. Reset its position to 0, 0, 0. Set its size to 0 0.001 on all axes. And now we can press on T and try to shape the canvas to something smaller. Now, as you can see, in my case, I made sure that the line renderer go through the bottom left corner of the tooltip, which I think looks cool. But you can, of course, move it anywhere and make the line renderer go where you want in your canvas. <laughs> there you go. Now our canvas is ready. We can right click, go to UI, Panel. This is to create a little background for text. In my case, I'm going to set the source image 
to none and change the color to the same yellow as the line with the max opacity. Now, this is because we are going to do a little trick here to make something pretty. I'm going to duplicate the panel. That's right. Rename the first one outline and this new one background. Then I'm going to change the color of background back to black. And now if we go to the rect transform and set the left, right, top and bottom value to 5. Ta-da! As you can see, this has created a nice black background with a yellow outline from the other panel. But of course, what's missing is the text. So let's right click under background, go to UI, text, text mesh pro. We can now fit the text to the canvas by clicking here, control key and select the last icon. Then let's center the text in the middle. And here you go. Now what is left is to write anything you want inside. So let me do, this is not a cube. You can of course change the font if necessary. And here you go, congratulations, at this point you have made a nice looking tooltip. Now, as you can see, if we take the point B, we can move it around and the rest of the tooltip will follow. And we can even rotate it. And this is actually the reason that I put the canvas as a child of the point B, because now with only one point, we can control the whole thing. Now, this is looking good, but maybe we can do one last improvement. You see, if we were to look at the cube from the side, it will be hard to read the text. So what we can do is actually turn the pivot into a vertical billboard to always look at us. So let's select our point B and let's create a new script called vertical billboard. Perfect. So in this script, let's add a new public transform target variable. And in the update, let's simply do transform dot look at target vector three dot up. There we go. Now let's save and go back to Unity. We can drag the main camera of the XR rig, which represents our head position to the target. And now if we click on play, as you can see, it points to the other side, which is because the look at make the blue axis here look at the player and the blue axis is pointing on the other side of the tooltip. So we could fix this in our script, but I think that an easy way is to simply select the canvas, drag it outside of the point B, rotate the point B 180 degrees on the Y axis and drag back the canvas under the point B so that the blue axis of the point B is pointing in the same direction of the text. And now if we click on play one last time, it is working! Awesome! So congratulations, you managed to create a nice looking 3D tooltip that is easily customizable and can work in VR. So of course, you can make it so that the tooltip only appears when interacting with an object or if you are close to it. Now, I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below. Shout out to my new patron who will appear on the screen right now. And if like them, you want to support my work and get access to exclusive content, join us. The link is in the description below. Bye bye.